With regards to our parents, views of the children, Allah Azawajal says in Surah Bani Israel, Ayat 23 and 24, And your Lord has commanded that do not worship anyone except Him, and treat parents with goodness. If one of them or both reach an old age in front of you, do not even say uff to them, and do not scold them, and speak to them with words of respect, and spread for them the arm of humbleness with a soft heart, and humbly request, do dua, O my Lord, have mercy on them both, just as they brought me up in my childhood. Regarding this blessed verse, Mulana Sayyid Mufti Muhammad Naimuddin Murabadi said, When parents become weak, the body parts do not have power, and they become as weak in their last days as you were with them in your childhood. Do not say any such thing which shows that you are a burden on them, neither scold them or speak loudly to them, but rather talk to them in a very respectful manner as a slave or a servant talks to his master. Treat them gently and humbly, and treat them with affection and love. When they feel bored because they brought you up with love and you are helpless and do not become stingy in spending what they need, it means no matter how greatly you treat and look after them in the world, you cannot fulfill the rights of their favours. A bondsman should make dua to Allah Azawajal to have a blessing and mercy on them. And he should humbly say, Oh my Lord, my services cannot be returned for their favours. You have mercy on them, so that can be a return of their favour. <sighs> Allahu Akbar. Here's the channel. Our parents, our father, our mother. Do we give them the time of day? Do we sit with our parents? You know, because when, when our parents get old, in some places, in some places, in some countries, in some environments, they need your money. Yes, because they don't have any money anymore and they need you to feed them and clothe them and look after them. And it's your responsibility, it's your duty. And you should do it happily. But in a lot of cases, they don't need that. And the one thing that they need, you find hardest to give. Many children will find it easy to say, okay, you know when you're making them food, just make a little bit more for mom and dad. It's okay, it's not the difference, is it? And when they go and buy some clothes, they'll buy a pair of clothes for mom and dad as well. But the one thing your parents need, probably more than that, and you find it hard to give, and it costs so little, but in our own minds is so expensive, is our time. Our parents want their time. They just want you to sit with them. They just want you to talk to them. They just want you to remember things that happened in the past and tell them stories and, and cheer them up generally. You know, and that's what will make them, that's what will make their day viewers of Mother Channel. That's all they need. They need your time. They need you to sit there and talk with them and spend time with them. And then inshallah, you'll see that the smile will come on their face, the du'as will come from their lips, and you'll see what a great blessing it is that you are lucky enough that you've got your parents there. But we unfortunately, we can't find time, can we? We can't find time to sit with our mum and dad. We're too busy. We haven't got time to even ring them up and speak to them and ask them how they are and ask them if they need anything because we're so busy. We're so busy engrossed in this dunya that we forgot our roles, forgot our responsibilities, forgot our parents, them same parents. That same father that when you were ill, he would go out and he would go and get medicine from you. That same father, when you would go out together with him and if the weather got really bad, that same father would make you stand behind him so that he could be a shade for you, a shade for you from the heat, or a shade for you from the rain, a shade from you from the storm. He would stand in front of you and he would protect you, and he would stand there for you. That same father that would pick you up from school, drop you off at school, buy the things that you wanted. You would point at something in a shop, and maybe your father could not remember, could not buy it there and then, but he would put it in his mind that my son wants that, and he would save up and he would die buy that for him, sacrificing his own needs, his own wants, so he could buy that bike for you buy that game for you, buy that toy for you, sacrificing his own needs and his own wants. That same child that would, if you were in a family that didn't have a lot, would put good food in front of his child and give the child daily milk and give the child daily good food and he would sacrifice his own health. And then when that same father gets old, when that same father gets weak, 
we come into the house with fruit and we hide it from our parents and take it into the back room or take it upstairs so our parents can't see it, so we can feed our own children. We don't want to give it to mum and dad. There's only enough for us. There's only enough for me, my wife and my kids. I ain't got enough about my mum and dad. So that's why I've not brought any. I just bought it for us. And we forget our mum and dad. We don't give them that fruit. We don't give them that nice food that you brought out from outside because we've only brought enough for us. Why? One, why did you only buy enough for yourself? And why is there, there is always enough to share around if we share around? It's not how much you've got in your hand that matters for you as money. It's not how much money you've got in your pocket. It's how big your heart is. How big your heart is and how big your heart is in serving your parents. And those people, we've seen it, I've seen it many, many times with the Money Channel. That people, certain individuals, and as I'm talking to you, I'm thinking about those individuals now, that people say that that person is very, very lucky. He's been successful in this dunya. He's never had any problems in this dunya. And people will again will turn around and say, well, he looked after his parents. He looked after his parents' views of money channel and his parents did dua for him. And if a parent didn't dua for his children, how can that child be unsuccessful? Have we achieved the duas of our parents? Do our parents do dua for us? Has your father ever done a dua for you? Has your mother ever raised her hands and said, I'm happy with my son, I love him? Have they ever said, I love my daughter, I love him? How many times has that happened? If it has happened, then you're lucky that your parents have done dua for you. That you are lucky that your father or your mother has said that, I love you, son, I love you, daughter. But have we served our parents? Have we done anything? We, we, we know that that person is successful that says that, my son, I love you. My daughter, I love you. But what have we done? Do we love our parents? Do we love our father? Do we love our mother? Do we do all those things that will attain that love? You know, our parents, they, they love us unconditionally, but we, we do those things to hurt them. We don't give them time. We don't sit with them. We don't talk to them. There's something that are just in the corner of the room, that they're there and they're there and we're waiting for them to go. And we're sitting down and we're thinking to ourselves, well, I've got one brother, there's me, there's my brother. Then the, the, prop, the property is worth £100,000, I'll get £50,000, you get £50,000. Is that all your parents have become? If you're some money channel. Go and ask somebody. Go and ask somebody who's lost their father, lost their mother. I say to them, if I could bring your father here today, if I could bring your mother here today, for one moment, tell me what you would give me. Tell me what you would give me. They would give you everything. They would give you everything that they've got just to spend one moment with their father, one moment with their mother. But whilst they're alive, we haven't got time. If you have a father, if you have a mother that's in old age, they're a blessing. Look after them, care for them whilst you can. And if you've not, if you've lost your father, if you've lost your mother, then do whatever good deeds you can and pass them on to your blessed parents. Go and visit their relatives, go and visit their friends and talk about them and remember them and do good deeds for them. We love Madani Channel We love Madani Channel We love Madani Channel